Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Make sure to go ahead and check out my last video. The giveaway is still currently going on. I'll go ahead and link down in the description when the giveaway has ended, but I'll also link right here in the cards that video so you can go ahead and enter to win those AirPods Pro. Anyways, guys, I got five more amazing tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so first up, we got a new tweak called Type Sentry, and this tweak is basically type status, but better. So basically, it gives you a bunch of different customization options. So let's go ahead and test out what I have set up. So if we test the typing alert, you can see up there in the top of the status bar, it will show someone is typing. It will also show read receipts. You can change the look of it to have bubble or name only. So that would just show either the little bubble or the name. You can have some haptic feedback. So I prefer to choose none because I don't see a need for it to vibrate when it's letting me know that someone is typing to me. You can also set up push notifications. So Right here, if someone is typing to you and your screen is off or your phone's locked in the pocket, then it will go ahead and notify you just like a regular text message would saying that someone is typing to you, kind of like how Snapchat notifies you that someone's typing to you. So if we go ahead and test out the tweak real quick, you can see that someone is typing to me. Another cool feature of this tweak is if you go ahead and actually type on the indicator itself, it will take you straight to the message. It will also send read receipts. So if I were to send her something and exit, it will see, you'll see that she read it. There's an option that you can enable to allow it to have a couple seconds to just stay up there in the notification bar, or you can keep it up there until the person stops typing. You can also change the animation. I have it sliding in from the top, but you can also have it slide in from the left and then slide out from the right. So if we go ahead and test this animation out, it slides over like that. And then as soon as they are done typing, it'll go ahead and slide out. Anyways, guys, this is a paid tweak, but it is absolutely worth it. It's basically like type status was, except it has a little bit more options. The developer said that he will be adding more features to it, such as the home bar placement for the notification of someone typing and read receipts. But anyways, guys, that one is called Type Sentry. Don't forget to check it out. This next one I have for you guys is pretty cool. It's called Time to Unlock. So the time is 11:19:00. It will go ahead and adjust your unlock passcode with the current time. So whatever the current time is, it will be the passcode for your unlock screen. So if we jump into the settings of this tweak, if you have a six digit pin, you can go ahead and just default is going to be zero zero. So it would be 1119 and zero zero seconds, but you can also change that to one one to whatever you want, or you can just go ahead and do a four digit pin and it'll be the exact time. You can also allow the real passcode to unlock. So say you don't wanna check the time and put in the time, you can just put in your regular passcode. But this is a kind of a cool tweak. If someone's watching you type in your passcode, you can just go ahead and type in the current time. And when they try to go ahead and take your phone and type in the passcode that they saw, it won't work because the time will have been changed. This one is a free tweak. Pretty useful, go ahead and check it out. So this next tweak is called Reprovision. So basically if you go ahead and download an application, for example, this Uncover application, you can share it to Reprovision. And basically what it does is it's a signing service that will allow you to install the Uncover app and sign it with your Apple ID. So I already have mine installed. I have a developer certificate, so I have 364 days until mine expires. However, you will probably have the free certificate, which is only seven days, but there are a couple options that you can configure. So you can manage your certificates and revoke all of them. 
You can also set it to automatically re-sign the application. So if you only have seven days, every three days you can go ahead and re-sign the application so that your Uncover app will never become unsigned. This will be good for those of you that don't have a developer account. This will continue to work as long as you're in a jailbroken state. So even when you become unjailbroken, you should always have at least two, three, four days to use your Uncover app and get back into a jailbroken state. I am aware that Alt Store is doing something very similar to this. However, I've been using Reprovision this whole time. It is extremely effective. I haven't had any issues with it, and I've just been signing apps on all my devices that are jailbroken. This next tweak I have been using and testing, and unfortunately, since I already live in an area with good signal, I could not see much of a difference. But some people are reporting that if you live in an area with kind of crappy service, then you can go ahead and install Carrier Crack and it will give you faster internet, faster data connection, a better signal. It kind of just adjusts your network settings. I've used the T-Mobile USA because that is the carrier that I'm currently on. The global one is recommended, so I uninstalled the T-Mobile one and tested the global one. And like I said before, since I already live in an area with good service, they were not very effective for me. I couldn't notice too much of a difference. It is a paid tweet, but if you live in an area where you don't get great service, you might as well just go ahead and try it out. Anyways, guys, that one's called Carrier Crack. And this last one I have for you guys is called Redentix Respring Pack. This is a Respring Pack for Snowboard. So if we head over to Snowboard, you can go ahead and select the theme. Redentic is what I have enabled. If we go ahead and tap on it, these are all of the respring icons that you can use. I am currently using the Punisher respring icon, but these are all the available ones. So if we go ahead and respring the device, you can see that the Punisher logo is my respring icon. But anyways, guys, that one is called Redentic's respring pack. It is 100% free, so go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, if you guys are wondering where I got this wallpaper from, make sure to go ahead and check out this guy on Twitter. He makes some awesome wallpapers. I featured him in my last video, but make sure to go ahead and check out his Twitter. All his wallpapers are linked right here in his Telegram. You can go ahead and join their Telegram group and download all of the free wallpapers. He also has some paid options. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out this video right here. Once Algo receives 2,500 likes, by the way, Algo is the YouTube algorithm. He likes to eat like buttons. So we're gonna go ahead and feed him all the like buttons that he wants. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay.